Our first guest is one of the funniest people on the planet. Please welcome Amy Schumer. <laughs> What are you, uh, oh, mwah. Mwah. what are you doing? You know, I've gotten too pretty. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I found out I'm the cover of People Magazine's most beautiful no, issue. No, you're not on, the, you're in it, but you're not, on, the pink is on the cover. Oh, p pink is the cover. Yeah, but you're in it though. You're beautiful. Oh, oh, okay, I guess I, I guess I could come out then. Oh, you were just in there because you thought you were too pretty? Yeah, I was just, I thought I was too pretty and people were gonna freak out in here. Oh. <laughs> They'll still freak out, but come on out. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I, I don't okay. know. That's what my mom saw when I was born. Like that? Yeah. Magazine. You're in the magazine. Oh, not on it. No, no, okay. no. Okay. That's okay. Whoa. Well, How that many... was a close call. Yeah, yeah. Then, then you would have been too pretty. It's way too pretty. Way too pretty. I would have had to go everywhere in that ball. No. Had, and so how you these shoes didn't they, uh, it's that's it you don't need them I can't they that's were it. they were here I th if I was on the cover yeah stilettos but now no it's all year okay. okay all right and you know what why don't you make this your thing you're barefoot you everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that's my no. thing now barefoot barefoot yeah. barefoot shoes barefoot and pregnant probably what I don't know well, I hope not. No, so, not. so we were just talking about uh, the birthday party, which you were at. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. Thanks for being there. But you literally were telling everybody you were getting married. Like that's the, right. And everyone thought you were kidding. I know. I because celebrities are supposed to be quiet. Right. When they're getting married, and I, we were going around. We got engaged that morning. So we were going around, everyone, we're getting married. You know, all these celebrities. You had everyone. Pink was there, and Pharrell, and. Um, the mother of dragons, what's her name? The mother Chris of dragons. Jenner. <laughs> I... <laughs> it's a good joke, right? It's a good joke. I love those girls. I love yeah. that whole family. Yes. Love to True and True West, everybody. I, um, I've, I've got to meet them now, I love them. But anyway, so we were going around, we were getting advice from everybody, and, and so I was looking for you. I never even got to say hi to you. I, I saw you. You were on the dance floor and you were in the zone. I was, I was yeah. dancing. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't stop you. It was like a flash dance situation. Right, yeah. Yeah, so then I text you after. Yes, and you said, oh, I'm getting married, would you like to come? Because yeah. Portia said, Amy kept telling everybody she was getting married. Everybody who would listen, the right. caterers, the, the valets. If she really thought you were kidding. I know you thought I was kidding. Yeah, but then you texted and said, I really am getting married, and uh, but I was doing a show, I would have gone. No, everyone has an excuse. Uh -huh. <laughs> So wait, so well, congratulations. So you got married Thank like two you. days later. Yes, we did. Yeah, yes, we did. I'm so married. So married. Now, now I was kidding about barefoot and pregnant. Will you, do y'all want kids? Well, here's the thing. I have never wanted kids. Um, and then I saw myself as a baby on your show and I thought, who am I to deprive the world of such a beautiful baby? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that baby. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we're gonna do it, but just use my genetics. I say, just yours. I'll, it'll look exactly, look at that. Yeah. What a beautiful baby yeah. butt. That was the last time you came out here. So wait, well, first of all, I, I'm really excited for you. Thank I, you. It, it was, it had, had you known each other long? Um, no, we met um, in a parking lot outside your party. Oh. Uh, <laughs> We've known each other about a year. We, we'd already been living together for like five months. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, we knew. I was like, I'm done. That's great. Yeah. That's when you I know. locked it down. That was at your party. Yes, that was the photo booth it we came had. came out. Um, so wait, so in, and how is, what's changed if you were living together? What, yeah. It does feel different, doesn't it? It does. And I like just being in one place, you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel more settled. I haven't been on the road as much. 
And it's good for me, like for my health, because I'm one of those comedians, you know when comedians like blame their behavior on the city that they're in, mm -hmm. you know? So they're like, oh, Houston, you guys got me so drunk last night. <laughs> you guys. And they're like, no, we had work today. Like we didn't. <laughs> Sacramento, you made me have sex with a stranger. And they're like, no, you're in a really bad place. And that's, that's just your fault. It's not the city, it is so, you, ma'am. Turns out it's you. So you're, he's a chef, yes, right? Yes, he is. Is he at a I'm restaurant? Brilliant. I don't know, yeah, that's how a, smart am I? How smart is that to marry a chef? Oh my God. You know, I think, I think a sexy thing to do, this is a little bit of a life hack, is to, if you, you know, say your husband's a fireman, to kind of dress up some cute, like wrap the hose all around you, you know, or, or like, but he's a chef, so what I do is um, eat flour. I, I learned how to make pies, so I'll put flour. You know, it's just cute, but yeah, see, some people do just a little flour, but no. What I do, I roll around in raw eggs, <laughs> and then flour, and just, I'm a sexy chicken cutlet. Uh <laughs> He loves it. He loves it. He loves now, it. is he a chef at a restaurant or a private chef? Well, he's the real deal. Wow. Really delicious, wonderful. I'm happy. And for also, you. he's cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I'll get to know him in the coming months. Yeah. But. <laughs>